Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to map your Webflow CMS single reference fields through Zapier. Let's do it. Okay, so if you've ever mapped any of your data, maybe from Airtable or another database, through Zapier to send to Webflow, you know it's a pretty simple process. You just set up your database with your respective columns like this, and then you just map those fields inside of Zapier one-to-one -one and send it straight to Webflow. It's pretty simple. The problem though is when we're mapping our Webflow CMS single reference fields through Zapier, we have to do an extra step or we're all gonna get tripped up. So without further ado, I wanna show you what that step is and how you can do this for your own site. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna hop into Webflow here and I'm just gonna show you that we have a CMS collection here called jobs and we just have a bunch of job postings right here, okay? Um, now. One thing I wanna show you is what I'm talking about when I say a single reference field. So I'll hop into settings here and you can see all the fields I have set up here. So a description of the job, the company name, the logo, etc. But I have two single reference fields right here that I have linked to other CMS collections. So in this case, I have a job type single reference field and I have it linked to my job type collection, which is listed right here. So I have three different job types, contractor, part-time and full-time. And when I go back to my jobs collection and I add a new job, you can see that I can choose the job type, contractor, full-time or part-time. It's a single reference field, meaning you can only choose one. So you can only choose contractor or full-time or part-time. You can't add multiple tags. It's a single reference field. So how do we map that to Webflow using Zapier? Well, let's hop into Airtable and let me show you how I have this set up. You can see I just have a database here of all my jobs. And across the top, I have all the fields that I wanna to map to Webflow. So for example, company name, job title, job location, those all correspond to fields right here in my CMS collection. So how do I map my single reference fields to Webflow? Well, here's what you do. Okay, so step number one is we need to create a job type lookup index. Basically, we need to take the three job types that are our single reference fields that we wanna map right here, contractor, full-time, part-time, and we need to give them all a unique Webflow ID. Now, where can you grab this at? So if I come back to Webflow and I go to job types, my collection, I can see that this is the collection that we're referencing in our single reference field. I need to come into each of these, so contractor, and I need to grab this item ID right here, all right? And we need to drop that into our table to the corresponding job type. So you need to do that for all three. So then you come down to part-time, you grab that key, and then full-time, you grab that key and you just wanna paste those in right here in your job type lookup index, all right? Then step number two is we come back to our main database where we have our job type column, all right? This is the database that we're going to be sending to Webflow and we need to create a linked field. So to do that, add a new column, double click and you wanna come right here to link to another record and you wanna just link to, in this case, the job type lookup base and hit save, all right? So when you do that, you now have the ability to come in here and click which type of job you want, just like this, all right? So you do that. Now the next thing is you need to add another column and this column is going to be a lookup column. So you wanna come down here and choose lookup and you wanna look up that unique ID column we just added in that other database. So you choose job type, and then you choose the unique ID field, all right? That way, every time we choose a job type, this unique identifier, this unique key will update automatically. So for example, if I change this to full-time, you see it just updated to the full-time key. That is the secret to mapping through Zapier. So now that we have all that set up and we have our unique Webflow IDs corresponding to the job types that we're talking about, we can hop into Zapier and link this to Webflow. So let me show you how that's done. All right, so we'll come into Zapier here. And first thing we wanna do is we wanna create a new trigger. And our trigger is going to be a new record in Airtable. So every time we add a new job or a new line to our uh, Airtable database, we will trigger this Zap. So you wanna link your Airtable account, just like this. You wanna choose new record, you hit continue. Link to your Airtable account, just like this. Link to your base, mine is called Webflow Job Board. Link to your table. In this case, this jobs live table is what I wanna to link to, just my main database or my main table. You can leave those just like that. I'll hit continue. And then you wanna test your trigger. You wanna pull in a record. So um, I'll just load more just like this. And it should just pull in 
one of your fields from your database that it can then use to test. So you can see we have all of our fields being mapped and you can see that our job type field is right here and our job type lookup ID is right here. So that's perfect. So that is the key. You wanna get that lookup ID pulling in. All right, we'll hit continue. Okay, so now we come in and we wanna create our action. Now for me, my action is I wanna create a live item in Webflow. Uh, so my event will be create live item. I'll hit continue. Link obviously my Webflow account, just like this. Choose the site that I'm working in. For me, it's this one. Choose the collection that I wanna add the new record from Airtable into, which is my jobs collection, right? Just this jobs right here. And then we just map all of our fields. So description, you map to our description column in Airtable, company name, we map to our company name column in Airtable until we get all the way down to our single reference field, our job type field right here. Now guys, this is the key, this is the secret step. So when you click in here and you start to map, you might be tempted to choose this job type field right here. But that is not the correct field. That one will not be recognized by Webflow. It will not work. So when you map your single reference fields inside of Zapier, you have to choose this job type lookup ID field, this string of numbers right here. And I guess there are some letters in there too. So you wanna choose this job type lookup ID, just like that, which corresponds again to this lookup ID column that we have set up in Airtable, all right? So you set that up just like that, and then you hit continue and you can test. So we'll test it, make sure everything looks good and perfect. So we sent an item to Webflow just like that. So that is all you have to do, guys. It's that simple. You wanna create that unique ID in Airtable and then map that field through Zapier to update your single reference fields in your CMS collections in Webflow. Last thing I wanna do, I just wanna test it all out and show you that it's all working. All right, so we will just come into Airtable here and we'll create a fake role. So we'll just say, uh, you know, Art Vandalay, importer, exporter. That's the job, we're gonna be in New York. And we'll just create some dummy values here. Here's our job type field. I want it to be a part-time job. You can see our unique ID just populated automatically. All right, so we just created a new record in Airtable that should trigger our Zap back in Zapier, which will send that live item to Webflow. So let's make sure it's all working. Let's make sure that job type field, that single reference field is populating in Webflow. So we'll come to Zapier. I'll just run this manually. This Zap will run on the free plan every like 15 minutes, I think. But we can run it manually if we want. So there we go. It just ran, got a couple green checks, we should be good. So we'll come into Webflow. You can see our item is not there. I will hit refresh. And our importer exporter role should be added to our job CMS collection, which is perfect. So it just got added. And that single reference field should be filled right here, part-time, perfect. So that automatically populated because I have a part-time reference back in Airtable. So anyways, guys, that is today's video. That is how you map a Webflow CMS single reference field from Airtable through Zapier to your live Webflow website. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. In one of my upcoming videos, I will show you how to map a multi-reference field from Airtable to Webflow using Zapier. That is a little more complex, but also very helpful. So I will make sure I get that video and link it right here when it's finished. Thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, go down and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. I'd also appreciate that. If you have any questions on this process, let me know down in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for being a part of this community. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you all next week. Peace.